This video explains how to use the Acquisition Station software to run a Vitec MSDS target slide on the Vitec MS instrument. At the end of this video, you should be able to run a target slide on the Vitec MS instrument using the Acquisition Station software. Required materials a Vitec MS Acquisition Station computer and software, a monitor, a keyboard and mouse, a barcode scanner. Vitec MS instrument, and a prepared Vitec MS DS target slide. Note, slides should be tested within 48 hours of sample preparation. The Vitec MS Acquisition Station software is used to monitor and display the instrument status, perform sample analysis activities, and can display previously acquired spectra. This video will focus on sample analysis activities and the steps used to acquire spectra from a Vitec MSDS target slide. If necessary, log into Windows on the PC by pressing Control Alt Delete on the keyboard. Enter a Windows username and password. Note if you have a Vitec MS Plus, double click the switcher icon on the desktop and verify the system is in IVD mode. On the Windows desktop, double-click the Vitec MS Acquisition Station icon to launch the software. Log into the Acquisition Station software by entering a Milo username and password with Vitec MS Tech Privileges. The Acquisition screen displays by default. The screen is divided into several sections. The Title Bar, the Navigation Bar, the Progress Display, the Camera Viewer, the spectrum display, the action buttons, the information display, and the logout button. Verify all Vitec MS target slides to be tested are completely dry. Wearing powder-free gloves, click the open button on the right side of the screen. The sound of valves pulsing and hissing can be heard as pressure is released from the system. The pressure must reach approximately plus three millibars before the door will open. This takes just a few minutes and can be monitored on the lower part of the screen as the source pressure bar changes from green to orange. When the Vitec MS instrument door opens, remove the adapter from the carrier. If present, remove any previously tested slides and store or discard according to your laboratory procedures. Place the target slides into the adapter in order beginning with position one. The proper orientation of the slides in the adapter is as follows. The top of the adapter has the angled corners. Slide position 1 is closest to the angled corners. The target slide barcodes are positioned on the left side of the adapter. When all the slides are loaded, scan or enter the target slide barcodes in order beginning with position 1. As the slides are scanned, the software displays a slide graphic of the sample spot positions. Verify the correct barcode displays. If a barcode is not recognized, make sure the slide information was sent from the prep station, send slide button. If an incorrect barcode is entered, click the erase button and re-enter all barcodes starting with the slide in position one. No acquisitions can begin until all slide barcodes are entered correctly. Load the slides into the instrument within five minutes of the door opening since the door closes automatically after five minutes. Gently slide the adapter into the carrier until you meet some resistance and it will go no further. As you slide your fingers across the back edge of the adapter, it should feel slightly concave. Note, the adapter can be put in backwards but will feel more convex. Testing will fail if the adapter is loaded incorrectly. At the acquisition station, click the start button. The adapter retracts and the vacuum system starts. The instrument should reach an operating pressure of approximately negative six millibars within five to 10 minutes of the door closing. The vacuum level can be monitored on the lower part of the screen as the source pressure bar changes from orange to green. If it takes more than 10 minutes to reach the operating pressure, the desiccant may need to be changed. The acquisition begins by testing the calibrator spot of the first acquisition group. If the calibrator passes, the patient samples in the acquisition group are tested. If a calibrator fails, no samples are tested in that acquisition group, and the instrument moves to the calibrator spot of the next acquisition group. When all samples in the group are tested, the calibrator is read one more time as an internal quality check. Results are sent to Milo when testing of an entire acquisition group is complete. 
During testing, the acquisition station target slide graphic displays various colors for each spot to indicate the status of each sample. Samples that fail can be reacquired at the end of the run by clicking on the spots and selecting Start. When the acquisition is complete, select the Open button and remove the target slides from the instrument. Slides that are completely used should be discarded according to your laboratory procedures. Slides with available acquisition groups can be stored at room temperature, protected from dust and aerosols, to be used at a later date. Summary Log into Windows on the PC. Log into the Acquisition Station software. Click the Open button. Place the target slides in the adapter. Scan the target slide barcodes. Load the adapter with the slides into the instrument. Click the Start button. When testing is complete, click the Open button and store or discard the slides according to your laboratory procedures.